do Piney Knob Trail or no, or is it straight up. Okay, as you can see, the road's a little bit rough, but I'm gonna make it on the rough road. As you can see, it's a little bit of a rough road, but almost in the parking area. Piney Knob Trail. And a little bit. Okay, up there is the parking area for Plenty Knob Trail. Just about there. And we're going to go hiking on Plenty Knob Trail. Okay, so we're going on the Plenty Knob Trail with Max and Gypsy. So last time I was here, this place was, was all wet and couldn't go in here. And so now it's a nice day. So I'm going to go on the trail. Just got to sniff first. I'm going to sniff some. So we're going to go on in. Pony Knob Trail. Here is that uh, little waterfall, and this, you actually go on a swing hole right here. So, in the summertime, this would be a nice time to go on a swing hole. The pup's got to sniff. Sniff everything. Yeah, so, you hit him on trail. Pony Knob Trailhead. Walk on the screen. So you gotta walk over the bridge here. You, you can bike, you can hike, no motorcycles, no ATVs, and no horseback riding on the trail over the bridge. And there's the trailhead. And here are the trails. Okay, so the trails, you can go on Piney Knob, there's the Fleming Azele, which is 10 miles, you can go on Grape Smuggler, which is 2 miles, you can go on the Gobbler, which is 5 miles, and you can go on Entrance Road, which is 1 mile, so I'm going to go on Grape Smuggler, the Gobbler would be, gobble would be nice, to, and you can go, we're going to go on here, on this trail, here called Grape, called Grape Smuggler, which is a 2 mile trail. So, which means you gotta stay on the purple marker right here. So I'm right now right here. I'm gonna walk like this, picnic rock, and then come on back. So, let's go hiking. Gypsy Max is all excited because people just walk by. Okay, so I'm gonna hike on over to Great Smuggler Trail, the two mile round trip trail. Mm. Like I said, it's nice, better, much nicer weather than the last time I was here, because it was miserable last time I was here. It was wet and snowy, and that's when I just got Max, and Max didn't want to go on because it was too cold, so I had to, had to just come back. See, there's a marker for the Grape Smuggler, Grape Smuggler Trail. I'm gonna go on it's two miles. So we can wait here and go up this road, up on the trail. So that's where I'm going. The one on that one, that's Flaming Azalea. That's what it was last time. But this time I'm going on the Grape Smuggler Trail. Okay, come on, pup. Don't get tangled in the trees, please. Rip Smuggler Trail. I watch Gypsy because Gypsy's on this retractable leash and she likes to go between trees and she likes to pee on every tree <laughs> like a male dog. And you have Rini. She used to pee on everything. It's a little bit more greenery than it was last time. So is it spring? It's just about here. It's about 50 degrees at the moment. Nice sunny day on a Friday. Go over another bridge here. Over the stream. Come on, keep moving. Up 
the hill. Okay. Let's want to put a bunch of, let me organize a bunch of rocks here. the stream down below. A little breezy at the moment. Nice cool breeze. Clip smuggler. Hey, don't go down there. It's not going down there. This big little waterfall down there. I'm nice supposed to keep moving. Hit back. I have some people in the background now, down that way. We are not alone on the trail. It could be the voices, the noises from the stream too. That's a nice view of the basin below. And here's a little marker of the trail. Grape Smuggler 1.50. Mugsy 911. Max, of course, wants to go ahead. Max is in a hurry to get to where he's going. <laughs> okay, so I'm going up an incline here. Got that trail there. Now it looks like it comes, swings around to the top there. So a bit of an incline right here. Max wants to wants to leave and pull because Max wants to get where he's going. <laughs> Traveled about seven tenths of a mile thus far, so we're pretty should be coming up to Picnic Rock pretty soon. I think at this end of this up climb, this ascent, we'll probably Picnic Rock, and then I'll have my picnic. This so right here is the junction with the Gobbler. So we're staying on the uh, Grape Smuggler Trail. This right here is the Gobbler. Okay. We'll come up with another marker, 1.25. That means traveled three quarters of a mile on the Grape Smuggler. Another bend in the road. Across a little stream here, a little brick rock bridge on this little stream. That's where it came from. I'm walking this way. If you're beyond those trees, there's a radio tower. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a tower up there behind these trees. And that is, I think, the Gobbler, the summit of the Gobbler, which is their highest point within the town of Murphy that Murphy controls. All right, so. Keep going. Pretty well maintained trail, I think. I mean, it's not all that rocky. Not, not a very difficult trail so far. 
Followed by eight tenths of a mile thus far. Should be approaching Picnic Rock pretty soon. The one mile marker. You see mountain bike tracks on the trail. You can go mountain biking and hiking, hiking and jogging if you, if you like. I like this trail. I'm going to be crossing over another bridge here. Over a stream. Like a wood dirt bridge. Someone just put a bunch of logs in it and some wood dirt and there's a stream across. I wonder there's gold in that in that water. <laughs> On the bend. And I'm going on another twist. There it is, one mile marker. This is Picnic Rock, I guess. It's made it to the halfway point. A great smuggler. Made it to the halfway point. Alright, so I'm going to have a picnic here, on the rock. And this is picnic rock, I suppose. The one mile marker of the Rape Smuggler Trail. So I bought my sausage, so that's going to eat. The stream here forms the water source for the town of Murphy. And up the hill. And so this is the drinking water for the town of Murphy. The people in the town of Murphy drink. It goes into like a little path here, you can walk up there, but I'm not going up there because this is near the one mile point of the Big Smuggler Trail. So here's the water source. Drinking water from Murphy. Make sure I got all the stuff out from carrying stuff out so I leave no, nothing behind. Be environmentally concerned. I'm going back on the Big Smuggler Trail. Back on trail. Gypsy's all dirty because she was walling around the, in the trail. Got all dirty and all crap all over now. You know the walling, walling dirt. There's a bit of nature. An ant killing a kind of bug on the trail. Okay, so I had an enjoyable lunch at Picnic Rock and back on the trail. Max. There's the stream down there. Max is tangled up here for a second. Come on, stop. Even. On the bend. One downhill, back to the parking area. More of the stream, crossing over another rock bridge. Some kind of like bugs in there, insect larva in the. That's just a drink of water from the stream. <laughs> Someone, a little bug left a spare tire here. So we're going to cross another bridge over another stream, a creek. Rock bridge. Okay, so we're going over the rock stream, over the bridge. A little bit of loose rock though. There's a place to sit on the trail. It's in the A little bit of an opening right here. Evergreens. And another bridge to cross. Lots of creeks and streams in here.
Here's another marker, 0.75, so which means I've walked 1.25 miles so far. Let's view of the stream going down a little fall. And going on it, and there's a little bit of an ascent here. Here's the top of that little ascent going downhill. Should be approaching the 1.5 mile marker on the trail soon. Walk across this another stream here. Max is in a hurry. <laughs> More trash piping on the trail.